Hi guys, you are on VRM24.com and today we are going to the assemble Honor X6. First of all, we need to remove the car tray. To do this, we use a special tool inserted into the hole and carefully push out the car tray. If the tray doesn't come out well, we can additionally use tweezers. Then we need to heat the surface of the back cover to a temperature of approximately 70 Celsius degree or 160 degree Fahrenheit. For this we use a heating mat, you can use a hair dryer. And after 5 to 7 minutes we can move on to detaching the back cover. To detach the back cover we use a thin plastic film. But first we use a thin metal tool to create a small gap between the middle cover and the back cover, where we insert the thin plastic film and start running the plastic film along the edge, cutting off the adhesive base. Usually we need to be careful around the cameras when detaching the back cover, but in our case the camera cover comes separately and the back cover is glued around the camera cover. So that is something we need to pay attention to. So we carefully remove the back cover. As we can see we have only the gasket on the back cover. Then we move on to unscrewing the screws. For this we use a 1.5mm Phillips screwdriver or Phillips hash 3 o we carefully unscrew the screws and place them on a special surface in a certain order so that they don't get mixed up when reassembling. Then we unscrew the screws at the bottom. We leave one screw which secures the cover with a speaker. And we also need to remove one screw which is hard to notice and it also holds the middle cover. After that we need to detach the camera cover. We find the right place where we can pry and detach the cover. On the cover we have the flashlight elements. Under the cover we have a few screws that need to be unscrewed, which also hold the middle cover. We carefully unscrew the screws, place them on a special surface so that they don't get mixed up when reassembling. So after unscrewing the screws we move on to detaching the middle cover. At first we use a thin plastic film inserted into the gap between the display frame and the middle cover in the area of the car tray, unclip a few clips and then we can use a thicker tool. We carefully pass the tool along the edge, unclip the clips thereby detaching the middle cover. As always we need to be careful around the side buttons because they are physically located there and of course we need to be careful on the corners because the cover is held especially tightly on the corners. After detaching the cover we need to disconnect the fingerprint sensor connector and we can remove the middle cover. Then we disconnect the battery connector with a non-metallic tool. After that, we move on to unscrewing the screw that holds the cover with a speaker. We carefully unscrew this screw and as we can see we have another screw, which is obviously different from the previous ones, which was previously hidden by the middle cover and which also holds the cover with a speaker and the antenna element. We unscrew the screw and we move on to detaching the cover with a speaker. We carefully hook the edge and remove the cover. Only the loudspeaker is located on this cover. After that we can disconnect the coaxial cable connector. And we disconnect the interboard cable connector on the subboard. And we also need to remove one screw that holds the subboard in place. As we can see, a lot of screws are different, so they need to be located separately, so that nothing gets mixed up. Ok, we move on to detaching the subboard. We find the right place, where we can gently pry, lift 
and remove the subboard. The subboard has the charging port, microphone, headset jack port, and other elements on the back side. In our traditionally small test of the microphone hole, we used a tool we inserted into the microphone hole, and as we can see, the hole in the display frame is perpendicular to the hole on the subboard, and the body of the microphone is on the back side of the subboard which means that if we insert any tool into the microphone hole, we can damage the microphone. And we move on to detaching the cameras on the main board. First, we detach the rear cameras. Hold them slightly so that the cameras don't fall out and we don't damage them. We detach the large rear camera by the way, the large rear camera can be glued to the display frame. Next, we detach the front camera. We carefully remove the camera and put it aside. After that, we disconnect the connector of the cable to the display. We disconnect the coaxial cable connector. And we need to remove the screw that holds the motherboard in place. For this, we use also a 1.5mm Phillips screwdriver. And we can move on to detaching the motherboard. We also find the right place where we can carefully hook, lift and remove the motherboard. On the back side of the motherboard, we can see the thermal test is applied. And in the display frame, at the top remains the ERP speaker. So finally, we move on to detaching the battery. We have traditionally three brown tabs that need to be unwrapped. Then we need to read the description and do everything that is specified in the description. And we unwrap the two tabs on the edges, which should be turned to the side as much as possible. And for the tab which is located in the middle, we need to gently pull up. So we carefully pull up and try to remove the battery. And on the third try, we got it. We remove the battery. Under the battery, we have a transparent coating that protects the display cable. So, this is the end of our assembly. Thank you for watching and see you around or in the new videos. Okay, guys, now we're done. Thank you for watching. If you like what we do, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel or read our articles on our website. Take care of yourself and until next video.